It's now time for Interactive. You can follow us on Twitter at SportsMaxZone, for Instagram and YouTube, our handle SportsMaxTV Live. Watch, like, comment and share and we'll react to your questions and comments during the show. Let's take some responses from Tuesday's segment with Taekwondo Tracy discussing his omission from Jamaica's Sprint Relay Pool at the Budapest World Championships. So on YouTube, Gallum Steele, Tracy was talking about my brethren Richard James at 2004 J3A Olympic Trials. It's a shame what those coaches did to Richard. I was at trials and I was happy for my friend and college roommate Richard who made Jamaica's Olympic team. The coaches really hurt Richard's career as he missed his father's funeral to get to go to the Olympics and not get the chance to compete. Don Von Taylor, stand firm Taekwondo Tracy, Jamaicans are behind you. Okay, so Rachel says, I truly appreciate Mr. Tracy for speaking out in order to bring justice of whatever kind, not only for himself, but for other athletes, both past and present. Regardless of who turns out to be really at fault, discussions and investigations will highly benefit the Jamaican track and field teams going forward. Obviously, there has been silence on this matter for far too long. Now is the time to address the matter. Keisha Simon Walker, well done Taekwondo, you have represented this country admirably for years. I hope no one will hold anything against you and we look forward to seeing you representing in the future. All the best. So team, a lot of support for Taekwondo and everybody is, well, based on the comments we have, happy that he spoke out. Yeah, uh, uh, and there was one comment that spoke about the importance of having the conversation um, and I think it's great that we've all started the conversation and I would love for this conversation to continue and maybe even members of the J3S executive can join us in, in having that conversation because it is important to have and I don't think the answers um, are in any one place. The answers are not with just Taekwondo Tracy, they are not with just the J3S and so the more we can have these conversations is the more we can arrive at what some of those possible answers are. Okay, well, we also have some comments from my conversation with former Sportsmax Zone host Alex Jordan. Alan says, Alex is doing a great job standing on the shoulders of people like Donna Simmons from experience. Commentary is not easy. Ronnie Motilal, she's one of the best. Salsa Dancer, I enjoy female commentators in sport. They are exciting. They are nice to look at. It's the best thing that has happened to commentary. Stacey Ann King is great also. Rani Motilal again, she breeds exuberance. Yeah, that's a good term, exuberance. <laughs> that's, that's the hallmark of um, Alex Jordan's uh, persona. And they're really, really happy at the strike she has made. Yeah, definitely been doing her thing, Ricardo. And um, as we said on the show yesterday, she knows how to make people feel welcomed. All right, continuing now, Serena Williams has responded to news of Simona Halep's four-year ban. Serena Williams, eight is a better number. Mm. Okay, so Eugenie Bouchard joined in with this cryptic tweet. I was told not to tweet today and she's covering her mouth. Ricardo, I need an explanation and a reaction. Hmm? Yeah, so let me see if I can explain this. Of course, you know, Simona Halep got a four-year ban, um, which was announced yesterday. Um, she beat Serena Williams in a Wimbledon final a few years ago. Serena has seven Wimbledon titles. And of course, you know, in track and field, if someone tests positive and they can prove um, that the um, offense took place um, at particular events you can do, lose your medals or whatever the case so I think there's a suggestion there that maybe Simona Halep should lose her Wimbledon title when she beat Serena in the final of course that would take Serena Williams to 24 Grand Slam titles <laughs> and she would be equal with <laughs> Margaret Court, Court and Novak Djokovic yes. for the all-time record. As for Eugenie Bouchard um, <laughs> Simona Halep has a 4 and one record against Bouchard. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Bouchard wants the four wins to go 5-0. Oh. I'm not sure it would make any <laughs> significant <laughs> difference to her career. Yes. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, for Serena, that's yeah. a big deal because yeah. we've always been speaking about that one win just to equal Margaret Court. So. I hope it doesn't happen. I personally would not want Serena to get to 24 like yeah. that. 
I would I, prefer her to come out of retirement than to get it like that. I'm not sure many people read it that way, though, because it, it, it could be interpreted as she thinks Simona Halep should get an eight-year ban instead of a four-year mm -hmm. ban. It could be anything. I mean, if you're not following, you know, the, the, the intricacies of what she said, <laughs> she said eight would be better, and it's a four-year ban. So, so I think some people <laughs> may have gleaned from it that that's what it was until yes. you just you're such a pure soul Lance <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying okay team so a short while ago my sister messaged me and she kept saying like why do you keep saying last last and last day and what's happening so Ricardo what's happening a lot is happening um, she's angry at me. She thinks I'm leaving the but zone. But she's not going to be angry for, at you for very long, is she? Because she's eventually she is going to find out what we're talking about. Um, we're mean, being cryptic like Serena and friends and it's, that's it's, not cool. It's probably going to be just for 24 hours and then there's going to be a big reveal and it's going to make sense to everybody. What I will say is the Sportsmax family is going to be bigger and better. And of course, we always tell you that we are continuing to improve our product. We've done so many changes we've done so many different things and it's all to ensure that when we put out a show for you our viewers we give you the very very best and it's something I'm excited about for tomorrow and I've said it you have to tune in tomorrow to see the grand reveal you know you keep saying tomorrow Mariah but I'm looking forward to far beyond tomorrow in fact yeah. tomorrow is the least of what it's I'm start, looking Ricardo. forward to um, and I, can I can I can I do my 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 clue again? No, please. <laughs> I'll be here tomorrow, but I won't be here. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just thrilled at the stride Sportsmax has made as a as a television um, company. Yeah. Um, I came here in 2010, and um, 2010. The, yes, and, uh, 2010. And the, yes, and the Sportsmax <laughs> zone started in 2011, yeah. and um, I'm so proud of the strides that the company has made. And uh, tomorrow we'll be see, seeing probably the biggest stride yet that this company has made since its inception. When you came here in 2010, Lance, yes. I had not done one year as a full-time journalist in media. I wasn't even in at Lance, I was in school. I didn't even know I was going to be here. All right, well, we've given you enough hints, we've tried our very best to give you enough clues, but what I promise you is we'll be with you tomorrow and it will be bigger and even better. So join us tomorrow. I can't say same time, same place as I usually say, but same time, you won't want to miss it.